Oh, let me do that for you. Oh, fine, honestly. Salt and pepper. Hmm? He can make a sandwich. I found this up in the roof. I knew it was up there somewhere. I crocheted it for you, Nick, when you was a baby. I unraveled one of me old cardigans. Ma. Yes, found that. I thought perhaps you could take it round, Charlie, you know, cos you ain't been near all week. Oh, I'm at the car lot today, Grandma. Max is working from home. Oh. Oh, I met Roxy this morning. She come in the laundrette. She said that they've named him Matthew. Oh, that's lovely. He's only temporary like, you know, till you and Ronnie can decide for yourselves. Oh, that ain't her place, Mom. It means gift of God. Would you just leave the boy? And it is, isn't it, Charlie? It's the only joy in all this sadness. It is a blessing from God. It's all right to ask for help, you know. You've got a son now. I've got work. You did this to him. Destroyed his life. He's going to be OK. Not if Ronnie dies, he won't. Don't say you're at work. Oh, you've named the baby. Yeah, I, look, I was hoping you'd come over and then I could tell you what I have been trying to get hold of yeah, you. It's, it's all right. I've just I've been busy, you know. Sorry. Is you OK? Fine. He's sleeping mainly. Right, I'll just get going. Charlie, the hospital phoned. I'm so sorry to keep you. What's the news? You said you were going to try again to wake her up. We did. Unfortunately, she still didn't respond. <sighs> You said Yeah, that I she... know. And we were hoping by now that she would respond to the treatment. What, is she getting worse? No, she's not getting worse. Well, so try again. We will, but... I'm sorry, Mr Cotton. We have to look at the possibility that your wife may never regain consciousness. She's going to come round. I don't care what the doctors say. Ron, just open your eyes, please. Just wiggle a finger or do something. I'm sorry, I've got to go. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I am not leaving her side until she wakes up. You can't keep doing this, Charlie. You can't keep running away from everything. You're a husband, Charlie. Charlie? Has something happened? Charlie? She's not going to wake up. What? Is that what the doctor said? Two hours say? we were married. Not even two. Oh, poor Ronnie. We didn't even get to finish the reception. Have you been to the oh, hospital? What do you care? You never liked her. Oh, come and sit down, Charlie. I'll make you a cup of tea. She's... She, she won't come out of the coma every time that they try. Well, look, I know it won't make it any better, but some nice sweet tea for well, the shop. Why aren't I allowed to be happy? You've had a Just shock. answer me! Finally, I find someone that I love. Charlie. We ain't the ones to shout at. No, Nick, I don't think it'll be... Beautiful her. wife, lovely baby. And Phil Mitchell ruins it. She's, she's, she's just lying there. All she ever wanted was a chance to become a mum. Yes, well, I mean, I know it seems hopeless, but we must hope. There's always hope. I mean, Ronnie will come round. The doctor's end always right. Please, sit down. I don't want to sit. Of course you don't. Not when Mitchell making out he ain't done nothing. Not when Sharon's waltzing around. Nick, Nick, I know you're trying to you help. I love that it. girl. And Phil Mitchell has taken it all away. <sighs> Leave him.
I want him to know exactly what he has done. He hasn't done anything. Well, it is funny that he is in jail, then. Look, I know you're upset, Charlie. I have Charlie, lost but... my wife. And I've lost my husband. Except when you go and visit him, he's able to talk back, OK? He can look at you and he can hold your hand. Ronnie will get better. Thou oh, shall. She won't. He's killed her. And I want to sit in front of him. And I want to tell him. Well, it ain't going to happen. There is a kid out there who is about to grow up without a mother. Then why are you here? Or has he got no dad and all? You just tell Phil. No. This is nothing to do with Phil, and it is nothing to do with me either. Now, I'm sorry, Charlie. I know it's hard, but if you want someone to blame, you need to look closer to home. Are you going to call the police again? Just because you don't want to face it. Who did Ronnie really have beef with? Who wanted her dead? You're wrong. And I felt the same way about my dad. Didn't want to see what was there. But just because you love someone... good to anyone like this. He's just a boy. What were you thinking, hitting a lad like that? Help me. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> what is happening to me? Look, any man who's been under the pressure that you've been... been thinking I could get married. I look after a, a family and, and a wife and a child. It's not your fault. If I'd, if I'd never met her... Don't do this to yourself. If, if I'd never even go back with her. I knew this would happen, letting that man back in. You are not. Blame me, son, Dad. This is me. It is all me. We, we should have just run when you said it and, and just hit the road and kept on going. He by. has infected you. Infected you with his rottenness. That... That out there, in your eyes, that was him. We're being punished, Charlie. All of us. Punished for what he did. You're not making any sense. Sins of the fathers. No. Back. What did you mean? Dot was having a little lie down. I should wake her. Why are we being punished? Oh, you know me. My tongue runs away with yeah, me. But you, 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 said, you said sins of the father. I say lots of things, and you should know by now not to listen. No, no, Mum, please! I can't cope without Ronnie, OK? I wake up in the morning, and I just... I, I get through the day, and I just want it to end. I want all of it. Just to end, I have a son. I can't even look at him. And I just think of what Phil Mitchell did. It wasn't Phil. Who did this to Ronnie. It was your father. He caused her accident. He cut the brakes. <laughs> 